Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Tonight on The Kitchen Table I'm just going to be talking very briefly about the GoPro 4 and specifically how it might relate to those of us who have one of these. But before we go any further, as a traditional, the beverage of choice this evening is this rather nice uh, Chilean Carmenere Reserva, which is very nice. Um, channel patrons will recognise this as the same bottle from uh, the live webcast that I did with you guys on Sunday. Thus scotching rumours of my vast alcohol intake. With, yeah. it, see, I'm, I, I can do things moderately. Anyway, cheers. Sometimes. Right, um, so yes, GoPro 4. Now, I'm not big into my photography and specs and everything else. This isn't going to be about the GoPro 4 itself. Those of you who want 4K and, and all the things that it can do um, will be beside yourself with excitement. Um, obviously the GoPro website has the full specs. They've brought out a silver edition which has a built-in LCD at the back. So those of you who are big on the selfie front can see what you're doing. Um, now I'm pretty sure that unless they've done some very heavy engineering uh, that that won't fit. The silver isn't going to fit into the H3 3D uh, gimbal um, and if it does it's going to be the wrong weight and it's going to be out of balance mm, however I have uh, found something uh, on uh, on Instagram which I will show you now from um, a professional um, aerial photography outfit called Sky High Media I think they're in Hawaii but anyway they were involved in beta testing or beta testing um, the GoPro 4 uh, one of the things they've done, as you'll see from that photo, is strap it onto an H3 3D underneath a Phantom. And what they've said is that in order to get it to balance correctly, so there is obviously a weight differential between the 4 and the uh, 3, you need to add, uh, they've put an American penny um, with a sticky pad or equivalent on there, um, on the tilt motor, just to give it some balance in that direction. And they've also apparently had to modify the the actual mount somehow. There, there must be a, a, a new button somewhere on the uh, on the new GoPro, which this fouls. So they've said they've had to take a, a Dremel. So those of us with uh, gimbals that are in warranty may or may not want to do that if we're going to get a GoPro 4. Um, also, I've got a version 1, so I don't have the... Um, the USB adapter, mine actually uses the, the port on the back of the of the GoPro. So that's an, um, maybe an issue that, that, that if you've got a V1, we don't know about that. However, what looks promising is that it, it looks like it should be a fairly simple retooling job for DJI. A bit of, bit of extra weight, maybe move things over in the balance for them to get a, a, a version that's, that's spot on for the 4. Um, the downside, as I said, is the silver. This is obviously uh, my, my GoPro, GoPro 3 silver. Um, it's not even a plus, it's a silver. Uh, uh, the downside is that the new, the cheaper silver model looks like it's not going to work. Um, uh, that LCD screen is just going to throw everything out of balance. But for those of you who are very, very keen to get your hands on some 4K uh, videography with your Phantom, um, it looks like it's doable. Um, so yeah of of great interest maybe 4k is the new hd it, it, it means nothing to me um and my little uh, video efforts that get viewed on youtube but certainly those of you who are either aspiring to be or who are professionals um then this I, i'm assuming can take things to a whole new level so I just thought that was interesting for those of you who haven't seen the news um of the gopro 4 but more specifically that you know the guys have been testing it for gopro one of them has actually been mounting it and using it on a Zenmuse H3 3D and balancing it out fine. So positive news for those of you who were looking for that. Anyway, that was it. Just a really short, sharp one just from the news that's happened today. Uh, thank you for, uh, for joining me and um, I'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. Cheers.